What's going on everybody? It's your boy Mr. Wolf and we're here at the most anticipated video of this year. My top 15 albums of 2021. 2021 was a really crazy year for everybody. You know, with this pandemic still going on, new variants coming around and you know, it's, it's still it's still an apocalyptic type of time period in our lives, I'm not even alive. But we're not here to talk about me, we are here to talk about the music. As you can see, I came in prepared because y'all yeah, know how I like to ramble, alright? I'm not trying to sit here for twenty minutes just ranting y'all heads out. So let's just get into it, man. Listen, my top fifteen. Let's just get right into it, man. 15 with Playboy Cardi's uh, Whole Lot of Red. This album is really all over the place. I'm not even gonna lie. I hated this record at first. Me and my friends actually played it on a Discord call like the night it came out. It actually came out on Christmas of last year. So it's gonna be a year. Uh, by the time I'm recording this, it's actually Christmas Eve. And you know, by the time I get this uh, video uploaded, hopefully uh, by tonight or you know, maybe the morning, uh, it will be a year since this album came out. So. Well, you know, that, that, that's a pretty odd coincidence if I do say it so myself. No, no, what can I say? It's Cardi, man. I mean, you, want, you know, a lot of people are shitting on this album, but I think a lot of people are kind of coming around to like this record, considering the remixes that came out, the different interpretations that people had about this album. And I don't know, the more you listen to it, the more it just grows on you. Like, my favorite songs off of it, Stop Breathing, New Neon, On That Time, New Tick, and I Love You, I Hate You, man. I mean... Although Pierre wasn't really on this shit, I will say Filthy really did his shit when it came to the bangers. Because the songs that are good here, they're really good. And the songs that are bad, I'm not returning to them. Point, point, period. But I will say, I did. I, I would say this is a very entertaining album, to say the least. So that's why it's so uh, low on my list. But I'd rather just give it a, you know, a mention because why not? I mean, it's Cardi, man. I mean, when you get Cardi, you, you're not really expecting much just from some hood nigga type ignorant music. You know what I'm saying? 14, we got Coaches, but with Bimbo Crescent. Now, this is literally, Coaches is, is Playboy Cardi Part 2.0. I, I don't know what the fuck to tell you, bro. I mean, I personally like Coaches a little bit more than Playboy Cardi nowadays because Cardi is just beyond some other shit, and I, I don't know what the hell Co Playboy Cardi be on sometimes, but I like Coaches, man. I mean, listen, he's, the, he's a TikTok dude. You might know him from Hatchback and, and tell him, you know, those sounds on TikTok were really going viral, and then, you know, he's really, you know, trying to come into his own, you know, I, he, he's definitely literally a more consistent, more fun and more fruitful version of Playboy Cardi. I feel like these songs off of Bimbo Crescent is so much fun, so much lively. I don't know, it, it really just follows the same repetitive flows, the same repetitive hook. And I don't know, like, I feel like Coach just kind of puts his own spin on it with some reggae, with some anime uh, bangers as well, too. Some uh, some references here and there to anime, like Sanji. Uh, it's a really good uh, album, man. I played a lot, a lot of it uh, the middle of the year, and I still play it to this day, man. Songs that I love off of it, like I said, Sanji, Double, which is a, 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 re a reggae and Jamaican song. So, you know, y'all know. If y'all know me, man, I'm Jamaican, you know what I'm saying? Family from, you know, Jamaican, so... You know, anything that's, you know, reggae inspired, bro, y'all already know I'm finna like that. So, yeah, we got Sanji, Double, Nike, uh, Nyx, 100 Smackaronis, and Coche. I don't know how to fucking say that name, but overall, man, Bimbo Crest is a fun album. If you guys are looking for a fun, turn up little, uh, little album, and it's just like Playboy Cardi, but I feel like this is what a whole lot of red should have been. Go listen to Bimbo Crescent, man. Coaches did his thing. Shout out to Coach Ace, man. I cannot wait to see what you do next, man. You are quickly becoming one of my favorite artists uh, that I've been listening to as of late. 13, we got is J. Cole's The Off Season. What more do I need to say about The Off Season, bro? If you actually see my review on my channel, go check it out. I made a whole review about it. Um, but overall, the lead up to this album was fantastic with the freestyle, with the documentary, with the single. The interlude was fantastic. Everything leading up to this project was exciting because it felt like every other day something was going on. Something new was happening, updating us about the album. And it's just really going to be amazing. The fall off is going to be amazing. If this is what the fall, the, uh, what, the fall off is going to you know is going to sound like you know and this in the off season is kind of preparing us for that i can only imagine bro i can only imagine but you know the the fire the, the album covers fire first of all i mean the basketball theme like you know with the mixtapes like fire i i really enjoyed the basketball theme about it uh, this is J. Cole's most lyrically and most focused and most consistent record that he has dropped. The features are great with 21 Savage, More Ray, uh, Boz, Six did his, uh, Black did his thing on these songs as well too. Songs that I love off of it, Applying Pressure, Interlude, My Life, The Climb Back, Easily. I'm so glad that J. Cole put The Climb Back off of this record because I really love The Climb Back. Easily one of my favorite songs that J. Cole has released in a very long while. I'm not even going to lie. Just like really 
Uh, the flows are fantastic. The delivery is fantastic. Everything about these songs are great. Amari is great too. And overall, man, I mean, this is J. Cole's most consistent project ever. I mean, I, I really enjoyed it. Uh, it was a lot of fun to uh, to listen to. The, 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 the Lakers freestyle, absolutely fantastic. Uh, we got 13 with Baby Keen, The Melodic Blue, man. This album... Um, I, I, I had to, you know, I grew to love it, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, at first, I was kind of like, I didn't know what to expect. You know, we got the song, of course, Family Ties. I'm really happy that Kendrick came back to bless us because it has been a while since we've heard from him. And I'm really happy that, you know, Kendrick came back and, you know, uh, accompanied his cousin. You know, when I first heard about Baby Keem, one of my friends, uh, he told me he was a mixture of, like, Kendrick and Baby and Playboy Cardi, which I definitely see the influence 100% with his, his nasally inflections, his high register, and his energy like he definitely has like that new breed of like what these artists are are going through are, are kind of sounding like nowadays you know what i'm saying i feel like baby keen really pr plays a lot with production off this record i mean he produces most of these songs very interesting very unique production you know when it came to like boom man maybe 16 maybe trademark usa lost souls or um the the joint with don tolliver as well too um coco uh even like south africa uh that's a really kind of kind of a little bit of a weird track you know even like um uh, pink panties as well uh, a lot of you know experimental tracks off of this but i i did the energy is great the content is good too i love uh, scars which is you know a really great uh interpretation of um not interpretation but uh, a great sample a kanye sample off of uh, his 808s and heartbreaks uh album um i really do enjoy that 100 it was log uh, it was love lockdown um i really like the content off of that song you know um just talking about like his life and his come up and you know his family just being very personal off this record and Kendrick, I mean, I, I love Kendrick, man. I, I was excited when, you know, this man came in for Vent. He came in for Family Ties. He came in for Range Brothers. Although, aside from the top of the morning, top of the morning, top of the morning meme, uh, Kendrick killed it. As always, I'm always going to be biased for Kendrick. But overall, man, I think Baby Keem has a lot to improve, a lot to grow as an artist. And I think this album is honestly just a stepping stone to see what he's going to do in the future. But overall, I love this record. I grew to love it. Grew to like it. It was kind of like messy. It, it, it is very much a messy album, but I think it's, if you don't take it too seriously and i think you hear what baby king's really trying to do here he has a lot of potential you know songs that i like from here trademark usa range brothers family tied 16 is really good boom man and lost souls uh and also the one with bird flies as well too go check that one out too number 11 we got is bryson tiller with killer instinct 2 i know you probably guys prize didn't even know this uh this uh mixtape even dropped but yeah killer instinct too if you guys are familiar with bryson tiller i mean uh his killer instinct uh little series he has a mixtape where he covers and sings songs from like old songs it's kind of like think of like the little wing dedication series basically uh dedicated series where he kind of just like raps and covers over old songs and that's kind of what bryson tiller does the covers are great you know he covers a lot of songs from like nba young boy chris brown brent fias outcast trippy red bust the rhymes a uh, whole hoax of songs honestly um it's you no know, this album came out i said album, this mixtape came out on halloween so it was just like nice little memories nice little callbacks you know when i had dressed up as tyler that year uh that day so you know it came out on a really cool ass time honestly um and you know the rap side honestly was much more entertaining than the r&b side i love you know our, uh bryson when he raps when he when bryson tiller raps he be in his back. He be flowing. He be rapping. He's on point, man. I feel like he's just having a lot of fun. And also, the skits were very entertaining as well, too. Like, you know, calling back to his future self and to his past self. Like, hey, yo, man, listen, I know you're working on this album, but you know what I'm saying? You gotta, like, feed that the fans. You know what I'm saying? Bring that killer instinct back. Bring that hunger to it. And I really love the concept of that. So, you know, it was a really fun, you know, 30 minute, uh, 29 minute uh record you know got in and got out got it where it needs to get done it's not on streaming you know you might have to go on youtube or you might have to download the link if you guys are subscribed to uh, bryson tiller's number you have gotten the link the soundcloud link and also the dropbox link so you know if you go on the internet you'll find it but it's it's a really slept on mixtape i think you guys will definitely enjoy it um i know he dropped his christmas joint not too long ago but I, if you guys like bryson tiller and you really like what he's doing you're gonna enjoy this mixtape 100%. It's a lot of good introspection with a lot of bragging as well too. And you know, also, you know, just Bryce Tiller just doing Bryce and Tiller. So the songs I loved off of it was Fall In Love, Kentucky Shit, um, Art, Art of Storytelling, Keep It Simple. I love that song, but it's just way too short. Like, bruh, like it's it's the, the, the Chris Brown sample. Uh, the Chris Brown uh, Heat uh, song. I'm like, bro, you could have made this shit longer, honestly. And Gravity. Um, that's a really, really good song as well, too. Uh, the top 10, uh, now I have got 
to pick my girls, Jasmine Sullivan with Hotels, man. The performance on this is A1, bro. Listen, bro. Pick up your feelings. That is it. That's literally all we got to talk about. Pick up your feelings. The live performance. Bro, this woman has been on a roll this year, man. Like, I remember this joint came out, like, early January. And I I, I thought I wasn't going to remember it. But here we are, 12, 11, 11 months later. And we talking about this record right now. That's how you know it's a testament, bro. And listen, this is only just an EP. This is an EP. Imagine how the album is going to sound. But overall, performance is fantastic. The tales were really great as well, too. I love how women uh, offer, you know, each and every uh, individual tale we're talking about, their personal stories, their introspective story, the themes of self-worth, and the things that women go through and just, like, failed relationships. I, I just love the themes, you know, tackled across this uh, this record. It's very entertaining. It's very personal. And, you know, Jas you know Jasmine really puts her freaking foot on these songs, man, especially on it with Ari Lennox. Literally the song of the year. I'm just saying, bro. This is oh my god. Their chemistry on that record is fantastic. Oh, but if you guys haven't heard of Hotels by Jasmine Sullivan, what are you doing? You're doing yourself a disservice. You need to go listen to it. Great RB soul record. And that's all we gotta, you know, we just gotta mention. Favorite songs off of it is on it. Put it down. Really great cut off of that record as well, too. Pick up your feelings, other side, and price tags with Anderson Pop. Really other good song that you go and should also check out as well, too. So shout out to Jasmine Sullivan. Now we on to number nine. I gotta put my boy Bruiser Wolf with Dope Game Stupid. If you guys are familiar with Danny Brown and the Bruiser Brigade, he is a part of it. And this is also, you know, a very underrated album that came out this year, man. Yo, his, yo, Bruiser Wolf is like a combination of Earl with the production, Danny Brown with his humor, and an E40 with his, with his flows. If you guys love both of those three artists that I just named, you're gonna love this project. I'm, I'm just letting you know right now. Funny quotes clever lines smart references so funny man this man is so amazing this flow is very unique and again it's, you know if you guys really do enjoy like underground rap and you guys enjoy danny brown you guys enjoy earl i think you really will enjoy this project the, the production's a1 shout out to rafi uh, i hope i'm saying your name right but you did you did what you had to do with this with this album bro he produced almost every single song off of it i think except the last track which i think the knowledge has produced but overall bro like it, it's it's a fun album. It's really great. Like, just witty wordplay, bro. Like, there's nothing more I need to say about this record. Man, favorite songs off of it, Free, Ac Free Accident, Middleman, Whip Test, uh, Dope Game Stupid, and Chess Games, bro. Oh, my gosh. Shout out to Bruiser Wolf, bro. You did your damn thing on this damn record. And I just really hope that you come up with more projects, man, because this album, you, you did your shit on here. Uh, next record I got here is Highest Coyote with Move Valiant. Man, listen, it had been years since we had gotten their last record, and um, man, they really came back with a fantastic alternative and Neo Soul album, man. Listen, uh, if you guys love uh, Neo Soul and R&B and just, you know, alternative music, you're gonna love this project. A lot of great epic production, bro. Like, a lot of great melodies, a lot of great arrangements. Vocals are very colorful. They're very rich, very just vivid just overall just amazing bro like come on stone and lavender amazing bro whoever the lead singer off, the, off of this band is beautiful you did a fantastic job it's so rich it's so cut like you, you know, the performance is very stunning man like I, there's nothing more I need to say about Movillion. do not sleep on this record man i'm telling you man like it, it's one of those records man that it's like it, it was definitely worth the five to the four year wait that we had to wait for this record to come out and i'm just glad that the band is doing better than ever and i hope that we get more music in the near future so my favorite songs off of here is and we go gentle stone and lavender spark tape breakup chivalry is not dead and get sung I'm telling you man y'all do not want to sleep on this record highest coyote movie alien. go check it out number seven we got is brockhampton roadrunner new light new machine the boys are back with you know iridescence and gender kind of being you know where the fans kind of broke off with the with the band i think roadrunner uh new light new machine is kind of like a return back to form i was personally more of a fan of brockhampton when it came out with their separation tr trilogy ever since amir has kind of left i feel like i haven't really been enjoying the, the band's music uh like that uh cults aside from a couple songs off of their records but i haven't really enjoyed a full length project up until now um, but yo, they really put they they really did they shit here, especially Joba. Yo, listen, Joba, I, I hope if you're watching this, bro, I really hope that you're doing well, man. Like RP to your father, bro. Like that, I know that must have been a really, really hard song to record, especially in and, and Kevin as well too. Kevin Abstract, you killed your verse on the light part one and two. Y'all killed it, bro. Y'all mm, just 
actually amazing, bro. The, the chemistry is just really just rich here. And you can definitely tell that like they have been, you know, just tired of just like being all sad. And they just wanted to just open the windows and just like open up the door and just like really come back with a bang. Especially Buzz Cut, man, with Danny Brown. That is how you start a record off, man. D yo, Danny Brown, fantastic off of that shit. So favorite songs off of your chain on The Light. The light part one and two, when I ball, don't shoot up the party and what's the occasion. Great, uh, another great song off that record. So shout out to Brock Hampton, y'all doing y'all thing out here. Uh, the next album that I got is Silk Sonic, uh, Evening with Silk Sonic, man. Listen, I ain't gonna lie, the, prom the promotion off of this record was terrible because we got Leave the Door Open, we got that shit at March, and then we got Skate around, I don't know, what, like August or July? And then we get smoking out the window around November, October. I'm like, why such, Why was the month so spread out like that? You know what I'm saying? With the quality of this record being fantastic, I think the album plays it a little bit too safe at times as well, too. I mean, the, the, when you got songs like Smoking Out the Window, Leave the Door Open, Put On A Smile, and, and After Last Night, It Flies Me, as, all, as, as much as those songs are fantastic, I feel like, you know, um, they play it a little bit too safe. I feel like they don't really invent the 60s and 70s retro funk and soul and R&B that they're playing homage to, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, overall, it's still a, f a fantastic, enjoyable record. Just the, the performances, the live performances have been fantastic. The music videos have been fantastic. Just overall, Silk Sonic, man, y'all did y'all damn thing off of this record. Um, and I, I, you know what I'm saying? This is something I'm definitely gonna be coming back, coming back to, you know, playing in the cookout, having the sweet baby rage, you know what I'm saying? Songs off here that I loved, leave the door open, obviously. You put on a smile, smoking out the window, after last night with Thundercat, and fly it as me. Also, shout out to Boosie Collins, obviously. But top five we got is Pink Pantheris with To Hell With It. This, Woo, this girl, man, has had a hell of a year, has had a great year, honestly. The TikTok girl, you guys already know, like, if you are familiar with Jess for me, y'all know who Pink Pantheris is, man. I was just literally just bored one day just on TikTok, and I was like, yo, this sound is fantastic. It's like, is this on SoundCloud? Is this on YouTube? And I played the shit out of Jess for me so fucking much. Followed Pink Pantheris on YouTube. And I followed her on uh, TikTok, and I just wanted her to put out more music, and I'm really glad that she put out this mixtape. Really great UK garage and dance pop. Also, her voice is fantastic. Like, I, I love Pink Panther's voice. I love the UK, man. I love UK women, just UK people in, in, in general. Y'all are just so amazing. It's just so crazy that you just look at somebody, you don't think that they're from the UK, and then you, 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 they, they talk, and it's like, oh, you're, 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 you're British. That's crazy. What the fuck? Like, 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 like Tom Holland. Like, when I first heard him for the first time, I was like, wait, you're, you're UK? What the hell is going on? But anyway, the, the, the sampling off of this record is fantastic. The It's very nostalgic, very, you know, grunge, very, you know, um, throwback sounds. Uh, but I feel like Pink Panther is doing her own little style, you know, paying homage to the 90s and 2000s. Uh, TikTok really made me love her, like I said again. Uh, the topics are very relatable as well as talking about abandonment. Um, and the longing and failed relationships, especially like on songs like 19 and even Reason as well too. That's a really amazing song lyrically. And just overall, man, I really love her, like her soft voice. I really just love the, the mixing, very lo-fi uh, mixing as well too. Just this overall, this this album is, is amazing. Uh, not my album, this mixtape is amazing at just 10 tracks. Songs that I love of, off of here, Reason, no, uh, Notice I Cry, Just For Me, All My Friends Know, and Must Apologize. So shout out to Pink Pantherist. I freaking love you! Um, <laughs> number four is JPEG Mafia with LP, the offline version. Now there's two versions off of this. There's the offline version and then there's the online version. Now the online version, I didn't listen to because, well, kind of a lesser version than the offline version. Apparently JPEG Mafia had a lot of sampling issues, so he made an offline version, which is now on his YouTube and Bandkit. And for the people who want to listen to the online version, which just has like a couple songs that are omitted from the offline version. Plus he has some other new tracks like, you know, Bald and Bald Remix, but you've already heard that from EP1. But offline version is easily the superior. It has more songs. The the, the songs here are really fantastic. Like Hands of Duty Pays and um, what's it called? Uh, uh, time Time Bike. Uh, I can't really remember how. Uh, uh, God don't like ugly. The album is fantastic. It's JPEG Mafia. He continues to keep on breaking new grounds with his brash, loud, smart, and crazy delivery with his lyrics like just this man on stage i would love to just see him on stage and just love to see him perform live at a concert he's just a powerhouse man 
Uh, I really loved Cornballs, but this album I really enjoyed a lot more, especially in their Tired, Nervous, and Broke. The, the, lyric, the, the hook on there is fantastic. The, the sampling off uh, Has a Duty Pays, man. I'm really sad that it's not on the uh, online version, not on streaming services, because that sample is fantastic. Um, with Anita Baker, man, I, I just hope that uh, one of these days I do hope that he does um, add those songs on streaming services. But either way, if you guys really want the definitive version of this record, I highly recommend you go and go to the SoundCloud and go to the um, the Bandcamp and YouTube version. That's really how, where you're going to get the most out of this record. Uh, songs I love for Fairy has a duty pays, turn bike, uh, end credits, tired, nervous and broke. God don't like ugly and ghosts of ranking th tread with KK Manza. Now we're on to the top three. Woo! All right. The number three spot is Cleo Soul with Mother. Listen, bro, this 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 woman never fails. Like I love Cleo Soul. I actually started listening to Cleo Soul this year. Um, just A Rose in the Dark is a fantastic debut project. And it really just showcases just like what the woman has to offer on this record. Um, it's a great, intimate, spacious, soul, jazz album. Just talking about her personal life, talking about her life, uh, being a mother, you know, giving birth to her uh, to her child, even just like you know, discussing even songs of just self-love, self-worth, healing, and just, you know, just rediscovering yourself. It kind of reminds me of uh, Lean on the Harvest, which was actually my album of the year of last year. Um, but I just feel like this album is just such a beautiful and just elegant and, and just like well put together record, especially the, the first track, uh, Don't Let Me Fall as well too, when she was talking about her family and just all the memories and just looking at the pictures and they're just staring at me. The, the, the lyrics on here are fantastic. These songs are really long as fuck, but it, it, it kind of is worth it because I feel like I, I'll never really get tired of listening to them at all. Like the production here really accompanies her voice and, and just the lyrics just hit so hard man it, it's honestly a beautiful ride all the way through a song that i love is don't let me fall music build me up we need you and know that you are loved if you guys don't listen to any other r&b album this year please check out cleo soul's mother you will not be disappointed at all now we're on to number two now my number one and my number two was really fucking hard i'm not gonna lie but I feel like I made a pretty valuable decision. It's Tyler, the creators, Call Me If You Get Lost. If you guys haven't checked my review for Call Me If You Get Lost, go check it out on the, on the, on the channel. Um, I'll probably leave a link, but what an album, bro. Like Tyler continues to keep on reinventing the wheel, keep on challenging himself, and just keeps on being the badass that he is you know like this album was a beautiful callback to some of his records you know so many songs sound so much love like wolf and cherry bomb but just like a lot mastered some songs you know even like bar elements of like igor even flower boy and just like it's just a nice collection of just songs bro of just like love and even traveling and just exploring the world and just like really using like that to kind of like you know uh pilot the, the the narrative of this record i mean if you guys really want to know what this record is really about just go listen to um the second to last track off of here then you'll really get the, what the narrative is really about to tell you but yeah man tyler just continues to keep on doing it on this record man and i'm just really proud of him to just see how much he's evolved since like goblin just see him now just happy just like living his best life you know another number one album and you know being a nominated for album of the year for the grammys i really who i really do fucking hope he wins that shit oh my god i hope he wins that shit i mean shit i dressed as the nigga this year shout out to my fucking best friend sandra yo we fucking killed it this halloween bro and if it wasn't for you tyler we wouldn't have made this possible so thank you so much for making my year a lot special bro sweet sweet uh flash i went i thought you wanted to dance easily one of my favorite songs off this year period i have a lot of long lasting memories with this album and it only came out six months ago took a whole photo shoot with this record made a lot of great friends with this record i went to a party I actually went to a halloween party and i remember a lot of people actually knew who i was just because of the hat and i had my best friend with me who was actually the girl from the video actually the girl from the video actually posted our uh our post so you know i if tyler was only to see that post i honestly would have fainted i that would have been honestly the best year of my life honestly period point blank 
Um, but yeah, I've I had a blast as always dressing up as Tyler. I always had a blast listening to his albums. I'm always gonna be an avid fan of him. And honestly, this man, this album is fantastic, bro. Go listen to the record if you haven't already. Um, and this album would have hit uh, album of the year, man, if it wasn't for my number one. Now, if you guys checked out the review for this album, you guys would already know. I've already kind of spoiled it for a few people, but that's okay. If you guys haven't already guessed what my album of the year is, then yes, it is uh, Little Sims. Sometimes I might be introvert. I don't know what you want me to say with this record, bro. I mean, what? Huh? Listen, I already like Gray, so, uh, Gray Area. I already loved that record. So when this album came out, I didn't know what the fuck to expect. And then we got Introvert. Then we got I Love You, I Hate You. Then we had Woman. Then we had Rolling Stone. Then we got Put It Kill. And I'm just like, what the hell is this record gonna be? And then the album comes out, September. The same day that Drake's Certified Lover Boy comes out. Which by the way, didn't listen to that record. Still haven't listened to that record. Haven't listened to damn near almost all the songs off of it. Well, a couple, but I didn't even finish the album. I strictly wanted to listen to Little Sims album first. Because I knew that album had something to say. And God damn it, she did what she did. If you haven't looked and saw my seen my review for this album, I highly recommend it. Go check it out. Because I said a lot more with this record. But what a fantastic record. Honestly, Little Sims is really cementing herself to be, if not one of the best lyrical and most best versatile and just best artists of this sh I, I like honestly like she is really coming close to like the rhapsodies the no like she should really be mentioned with the rhapsodies the the no names uh the, the tiara wax like she's on a whole other level bro like like woman with cleo so fantastic i see you fantastic standing ovation do we gotta say more amazing performance literally amazing performance from the interludes amazing keeps the narrative going talks about her introversion and just how like she, she has so many problems just like trying to reach out to people and how she feels like she's doing this and doing that and and she just this explores introversion in such a unique and, and amazing way and it just oh my god the sonic palette of this um, record is grand shout out to info bro even shout out to info on the the cleo soul record you yo you are amazing producer bro how do you do this but I haven't said a lot of fantastic things. If you haven't checked the review again, please, I highly implore you to go check out this review. But this album is my album of the year. There is no other record that has made me cry than this record. When I was listening to Standing Innovation, I shit you not, I cried because I was like, this is how you make music. This is how you make a hip hop record. This is how, this is what hip hop is about. The energy, the rawness, the talent, the, the technical ability, the, the content, the hunger. That is what hip hop was missing. And I feel like there is not a lot of artists doing it, especially a female artist, a UK artist, a, a Nigerian artist doing it as amazingly as Little Sims. Shout out to Little Sims, bro. And I really hope that more and more people, more, uh, more and more people know about you because you deserve your flowers, man. You can kill it this year. And, I, and congratulations for also being on Obama's um, list of his favorite songs of 2021. You can deserve it. Favorite songs off of here is how you get there, standing ovation, introvert, I see you, and woman. Even more songs I, I could have listed off, but I wanted to pick the, the, the top five, honestly. That's it. That's my album of the year, y'all. I don't know. I don't, <laughs> uh, this, this year This year was uh, a, a wild ass year. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Guys, tell me what your favorite albums of the year was. Definitely check it out. I mean, definitely check out the reviews. Uh, in the link to the description box below with like the J. Cole one, the, the Tyler Creator one, and even the Little Sims one. You will guys know exactly what how I feel about those records um, in the comments. Uh, just please tell me how you guys felt about this video. If you guys enjoyed it, please like, comment, uh, please share, like, comment, subscribe, do all that favorite good shit. This will be my last video of this year. And then your boy, I'm just, I'm gonna just disappear for a little bit. So, you know, you might not see me for a little bit. I'm gonna go enjoy my holidays with my fam and just, you know, take some time out of myself to really just, you know, recover and just try to like, you know, get my mind and my head straight. I'm um, not really in the best mentally in the world, but I know eventually everything's gonna get better. I, I, I just know it. 
So again, thank you guys for listening. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all getting over 100 subscribers on this channel. Couldn't have done it with you guys. Uh, just sticking around me and just watching everything that I do. I really appreciate it. And um, I'll see you guys when I see you. Have a wonderful Christmas. Have a happy new year. Happy holidays. Y'all stay safe. Peace.